going to demonstrate how to set up a secure private wireless network and a separate guest network on a router using DDWRT firmware. First thing you'll need to do is open up your web browser and type 192.168.1.1 and enter. Now we need to enter a username and a password. Select change password. Now we will go to the setup tab. First thing we'll do is turn on DHCP. And I like to use a different IP address. Uh, you do not need to change this. From now on when I log in, I will be logging in using 192.168.0.1. You will always use .1.1 unless you do this also. If you do this, you will probably need to reboot your computer. Now, Uh, the first thing we'll want to do, well, now I'm going to need to log in again with the new IP address. Very good. Once again, totally unnecessary. You can just leave it 1.1. One one. I will go to setup. Again, I have made this change it will be reflected in other places also. First thing we want to do is set up our wireless networks. Our access point for our private network. Uh, I'm going to use G only because I have only G devices. My network name I will call my net. I will change the wireless channel from the default 6 to 11 or 1. Um, just to be on a different frequency than most other people. Uh, do not use anything higher than 11. Uh, those frequencies are for Japan only. Now we will add our guest network under virtual interface. And I will call it OpenNet. You can call the networks whatever you wish. And apply settings. Now to secure our private network, we click on wireless security. And I will choose WPA2 personal. Um, if you have older devices that do not support that, you can use WPA or W. Web. I'm going to use AES and now for a password to access the private network. We will leave the security mode for the guest network disabled so that anyone can access it. Okay, now setup and working. Now we have our private network and our guest network on the same bridge. We want them on separate bridges to isolate them. So first we'll create a bridge. We'll call it BR1. settings. The IP address will be a different one than our personal one. So I'm going to use 192.168.2.1 uh, 
and the subnet mask is 255, 255, 255, 0. And apply settings. Now we will assign our guest network to the new bridge. So, assign to bridge, add, and we will assign our guest network to bridge one. And apply settings. Now this may take a, a moment before you see it take effect. Router has to reconfigure. There we go. Now our guest network needs a DHCP server. So we will create one. BR1. Now when we apply the settings, our IP address and our subnet mask will be used for this DHCP server. As you can see here. Now we have two networks, wireless networks up and running, one private, one public. They are separated and ours is secured. However, we want to give our network priority. So click on NAT QoS and then the QoS tab. This is quality of service. Enable. Now we'll add our two networks under NetMask priority. 192.168 dot one dot one. In my case, again, it is zero one and then twenty four and add. Once again, unless you've made this change, yours will be one ninety two dot one sixty eight dot one dot one twenty four. And now we'll add or uh, enter the IP address of our guest network one ninety two dot one sixty eight dot two dot one and again twenty four and add. Here is where I've seen uh, uh, in other tutorials uh, a problem and that is this is left on LAN and we want to select LAN and wireless LAN. Otherwise you will be able to connect to the guest network, but um, you will have no internet connectivity. Now, our private network, we want premium priority, and for the guest network, bulk, so that our wireless needs um, have priority over the guest network and we will apply settings. And that's all there is to it. We now have a separate guest network with internet access. Well, I hope this has been helpful and good luck.